from Singapore. Hello. <laughs> We so, just arrived today, we got the bus from Malacca, checked into our hotel and then we came straight back out. So we've got the underground, because the public transport system here is very good, so oh, yes, there's a lot of yeah. lines. We don't actually know how much we paid, because we were staying here for four days, so we didn't get internet. What and you do is you pay with your credit card or your debit card as you enter the train station, and then you pay with your debit card as you leave. And then obviously that'll calculate how much we haven't got internet, so we don't know how much we paid. Until we go back. Uh, but straight away I can tell you, very weird thing, so when you hear about Singapore you think about people not being able to chew the gum, not being able to cross the street. We saw so many people crossing the street on the red light, not on the... Just randomly, yeah. Randomly, so we did it. Oopsie. So as you see we are outside Parkview Square and today because it's our first day and we didn't sleep very well last night we decided we're gonna just walk about see how it is how expensive it is what we can afford to eat probably yeah, yeah. and just see some nice uh, find some cool spots so come with us and this is Parkview Square what an impressive building this whole area is quite pretty see a nice mosque straight ahead yeah uh, quite interesting as well with um so uh, like as you see we head into the mosque but actually i googled that uh, the religion majority of religion in um, singapore is buddhism mm. and then they've got non uh, so many non-religious people and complete mix which is interesting because you are like right in between indonesia muslim country and malaysia muslim country so yeah quite cool so we came to a very famous landmark in the city. What is it, Kesha? Meet my meat. Meet my meat. Oh, it looks quite good actually. Huh? Looks like good subs. Yeah. But that's not the famous landmark. This one around the corner here. Have a look at this. Wow, yeah. Wow. That's really cool, yeah? Yeah. And then you get to the impressive mosque. Mm. No, we can't. Okay, so yeah. So as never, we've got all the clothing, a uh, clothes for special for the mosque, and on the and uh, open for Muslims. So. so look at this. This is Arab Street. straight away again uh, this is not how imagine we imagine Singapore so this is like whoa yes. wow. so colorful we have to buy some tap water somewhere tap water in the restaurant yeah we another thing is that Singapore is very expensive yeah. we actually went to McDonald's and checked how much like Big Mac and chips will cost us and it's double what it would have cost us in Malaysia. And Malaysia is already like on the higher end in some places. Just off Arab Street, a few streets parallel to it is Haji Street, which is really cute. And I guess just a really pretty beautiful, lots of little shops and stuff. really nice area in like a big city yeah it makes you feel like you you're not in a big city it doesn't feel like a big city at all right? no Fun fact is 
that you're not allowed to walk naked inside your own house because you can get heavily fined for in case neighbors see you. How crazy is that? So you gotta make sure the curtains are shut before you get naked. Otherwise, you'll be in trouble. So as we are on funny fact, <laughs> If you don't flush the toilet, you can be punished and pay penalty about 150 to 500 dollars, uh, Singapore dollars fine. Officials actually conduct random checks in public toilets to make sure people flush after they go. You could actually be looking at a fine if you fall to do so. So make sure you flush before you leave your cubicle. That's mad. A little bit crazy. Yeah, but I wonder if it's one of those like crossing the street. Maybe. Yeah. Or we will get a letter sent home, pictures of us crossing the street and lots of fines. Big fines. But right now we are looking for some food. So you're not allowed to sing in a public place or swear or play a musical instrument because it can annoy someone. Uh, committing suicide is illegal then connecting to another person's wi-fi without asking first or getting permission is also illegal wow a lot of things we have to remember yeah no noise after 10 pm no Walking noise is forbidden almost everywhere in singapore only in specific places but then yeah but then we saw some uh, i've seen cigarette butts on cigarette the ground but yeah so yeah. Chewing gum, of course, most of people know about the gum. Yeah. Yeah, everyone knows you can't chew gum. But funny enough, before we cross the border, they were selling gum. First set, food center. So what is, we're heading to a food center where that's where people eat affordable meals. So basically they, play, they call these places hawker centers. They're basically big, medium food courts and it's where you get more affordable food around the city you have to clean up after yourself yeah but it's more for it's still more expensive than other asian countries that looks really good oh wow yeah so we got one ton noodles three dollars fifty Yeah? If you go to restaurants, you'll be paying two, three times the price. Yeah. If not more. Two pounds eighteen. Two pounds eighteen. We're paying for this. And good. Yeah. Delicious. Right. We're gonna enjoy this and then go back to the hotel. We'll show you our hotel as well because. It's very expensive, but it's the cheapest we could afford. £150 for four nights. £150 for four nights. Cheapest we could find. We'll show you. And here's our room. Gotta be a bit quiet. And here is our room for the night. Oh, look at this. This is where we will be. Four nights. Look at this. £35 a night. And that's one of the cheapest, just for this. Crazy. Anyway, we're gonna refresh and then head back out. So, after a quick refreshment, we came back out. Chinatown! Look how nice Chinatown is. Yeah, and we love Chinese food, so that's our favorite. Yeah. There is a very strong smell of durian. Actually, now. that's one of the strongest smells we smell. Yeah. It's definitely... Oh, it's over there. That's probably what we can smell. Yeah, have a look. One box, $18. 10 pounds. Oh, yeah. Very, very whiffy. Very whiffy. That's one of the strongest smelling ones. But look how cute this is! Oh my god, the smell of durian. Finally we are 
suspended. Oh my god, it didn't smell that much in Never. Kuala Lumpur. No one. I think this finally we can understand this bad smell of durian. Yeah. Okay, we bought our magnets and our tap. Catch the smells. Did you come your smell? But we're gonna go to another hawker centre here and we're gonna eat here. Uh, Kite? Yeah, apparently if you like inter um, interrupt traffic with a kite you can get arrested. Oh, another fact for Kasha about how we could get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> Just trying to buy paracetamol somewhere and it's like $9 for a pack, the cheapest, which is like seven, seven pounds something. For a pack of paracetamol, how crazy is that? We can't even see like their own cheap brand. No. Like this one, no? Which one? Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. Quite nice, yeah? It is actually, and the place is paint like this has a bad thing. Impressive, yeah? This is a cool temple. Yeah, I love the fact they gave us they gave us scared. Yeah. I like this. Free of charge? Yeah. I was ready to say that you got around, but <laughs> Good So in this part here is the relics from the Buddha, Buddha Sakyamuni relics, crystallized remnants of the cremated body of the Buddha. Liver, heart, intestine, brain, eye, tooth. Yeah. God. But you're not allowed to take pictures or photos in there. Okay, so we just went to another floor where the tooth relic is. You're not allowed to film anything in there, but it's very impressive. Like gold, flooring, gold, and everything. The tooth relic right in the middle. Uh, I'll try and get a picture and put it over the top now. But yeah, obviously to respect, we didn't video. And we're at the roof garden now. Wow. Wow, you feel like you're on the roof. That's so cool. Awesome. Kashina? Maybe. The best temple I've been to, I think, Chinese one. Chinese? It's really cool. Okay, we're gonna get left back down, back into Chinatown. Mm. It's been really nice. Uh, to be honest, I had low expectations, I don't know why. Uh, but it really surprised me. Yeah. yeah. One of the best Chinese temples, yeah? Just because you have like museum inside, they give you the um, cover-ups to for free, uh, we topped up our water, plenty of toilets. Yeah, really good, yeah? yeah really good. And not too busy as well. From the outside. We just stumbled across another temple. So we came to Market Street Hawker Centre for our dinner. It's, it's quite big actually. It's so much choice, we still, I think it took us hours to choose what we wanted. Yeah, but we went for like, Chinese noodles. Like, oh, yeah. It's in a lot more upmarket posh area and it seems a lot more upmarket posh, but the prices are still Low. good. We ordered duck noodle and chicken noodle, so let's see how it goes. Do 
sure we take some chopsticks, yeah? Yeah. Which one was which? I don't know. That's chicken, yeah. Look at this. That's really good. So we paid $10 for this, so... six twenty-five For this. Not too bad. So just over £3 a meal. Good. This tastes like the poison sauce. Yeah. And the duck. <laughs> really? Mm. 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 I think this is better than yesterday. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll eat. Okay, so we finished our meal and oh my god, it was amazing. Oh, yeah, so full. Stalls down here, and then you go down a level, and there's a whole other set of stalls. So, so much to choose from, yeah? And it all looks incredible. So, here's the other floor. A little map look how many stores there are or little restaurants anyway let's go these juice things here everywhere as well they look quite cool yeah two dollars four oranges from australia juice mm. this is the end of our first day in singapore we're very tired very tired long day great food we are there is obviously more to do in singapore we know but we're going to do that on the next day and we're going to do oh, i'm tired walking up those stairs yeah, yeah. Look, here we are by the bay, and you got this. So, watch our next vlog to make sure you see all about that. This is the garden by the bay, and there's a few other bits we've got to do around this area to properly explore. So, that'll be on our next vlog. But thank you for watching this one, and we'll leave you with this view.